Daddy, you go crazy. I want to ask you, uh, you know, I want to go back to, to, to Ruga, right? Because uh, Ruga did an interview with No Jumper. Mm -hmm. And um, there were some things that he didn't want to talk about prior to. He let Adam-22 know that. And Adam still asked him about it, you know. Um, he still put it out. And, and um, you know, Ruga, you know, let the world know, you know, what happened between them. And, um, you know, after that, you know, Adam got on that with him. He said, Ruga, you know, you being soft, you know, take this L. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to ask you, you know, because you the man that raised Ruga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What was your thoughts and reactions when you saw? Oh, when I saw that, man, I ain't gonna lie. When I got on the internet, I saw it. I saw him, you know, uh, addressing uh, Adam. With that, and uh, shit, I mean, I was uh, proud of my son, man, you know, because I always told him, like, uh, I always tell him, though, like, don't, you know, I didn't like to, like, I'm a direct person, so uh, somebody say something or do something, I ain't going to text him or nothing like that. I'll get on the phone or something, I'll call you, I'm going to let you know, you know what I'm saying? When I saw my son checking him, I already knew what time it was, you know what I'm saying? I know him. You know what I'm saying? Like, all he wanted you to do is let him see it, man. Show me this, man, before you put it out. He don't want to talk about Durkin now. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to talk about, he don't want to talk about that. He trying to get past all that, bro. Mm -hmm. So now you really being messy with Chicago. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, you being messy. So he got it right, and I, then I seen him on live with him. You know what I'm saying? And my son checked him. He checking him on live. I'm watching it. You know, I be on there seeing little stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I see him tell him, like, okay, so I'm, what about you? You know what I'm saying? Say something, yeah. What about that little girl? You know what I'm saying? He ain't like that. You feel me? And when people throw something back at you, you don't like it, man. So, yeah, you was being messy. He just checked you. He, you know, he checked him. Shit, I'm with him. Yeah. Yeah, Adam definitely been um, been been a, getting his nose in a lot of Chicago yeah. business lately. Um, he was trolling Wooski, you know, and, and, and the headshot that that Wooski suffered, you know. And your son took great offense to that, you know, especially because Wooski was shot at a funeral, you know. So he was, you know, just like man, you know, this guy he talking about a whole bunch of stuff that he don't even know about, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and so when me and Ruga talked about that funeral, you know, it kind of opened my eyes up to the, to the, to the, to the concept of a shooter at a funeral, you know, and you said you were there yourself as there. well, right? Yeah, I was so, there. So how did that play out from your perspective? Man, uh, man, that was, that was, that was crazy, man. Like, uh, my son, uh, Ruga just walked out, him and my other son walked their brother out. It was over with. You know, it, it really, it was, man, it was a scary sight, bro. Just to hit them shots going off. You know, it was like, it was like they was in the inside. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was it was ugly, man, to see them people laying on the floor. Mm. Then my first thing, I saw my cousin, Mama Duck, walk past me. So I answered, like, what my cousin? I threw my wife in the washroom, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Fat Boy picked up my grandson, Ruger's son, and, Put him in the room, man. It was ugly. It was scary, bro. Scary, bro. It wasn't just one time. They shot like three times. And it's like they was getting closer and closer, coming in the door. And to the pastor, wherever that church locked that door. Couldn't nobody get in. Mm. So whoever was out there was stuck. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, yeah, that, that was an ugly sight. Mm. And to see Wooski laying on the ground, you know what I'm saying? I saw Wooski laying on the ground. So when I saw Wooski wipe his face, you know, that's all I needed to see. Mm. He wiped the blood off his face, you feel me? So that let me know, shit, he good. You know what I'm saying? Wow. It's ugly. So you, 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 you going to pay your respects to somebody that passed away and now, and now your life in danger. Yeah. And I was just standing outside right before that happened, though. How often do you hear about these kind of stories in Chicago? About the what, like the shooting at funerals and stuff yeah. like that? 
Man, I ain't heard about no student at no funeral since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd heard about it back then. People walking in funerals, you know, like they walked in funerals and and uh, shoot a body up while I was in the cast, mm. and stuff like that. Mm. That didn't happen. Mm. That didn't happen, man. So yeah, I, I didn't heard stuff like that. And shooting at funerals then, but they brought it back, man. It's like everything coming back. It's like the clothes, man. The clothes, everything, man. It's gonna come back. Coach say history repeats itself. Yeah. And that's what's happening. Yeah. They gonna start to a point where they gonna knock on niggas' doors and start going, you know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy out here. With you being like a, you know, an older gentleman amongst uh, the YouTube crowd, you know what I'm saying? The podcast space, you know, you kind of like our parents' age, you know? Right. Uh, what is it that you would like to get across to those that's your kids' age or younger? To like, uh, I just want to say, man, like... Uh, or how about this? Can I rephrase the question? Rephrase. If you can go back 20 years later, just 20 years ago, I'm sorry. Anything you would have done differently with your life? If I go back 20 years, yeah, that's a lot I would have did. Um, I mean, I wish I would have known what I know now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if YouTube and stuff was out then. You know what I'm saying? Right. I would have took a different approach on what I was doing, but uh, I was still, 20 years ago, man, yeah, I was still trying to probably sell drugs and do this, I would have did a lot different, man. Like, uh, I always had a job, you know, off and on, but uh, I would have got my kids up out of here. Got them out of Chicago if I saw all this coming. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would would have did different. Because how many kids you got again? I got 14. I was going to say I got, seven. I got, I got 10, you know, biological and four. Mm. Marriage, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, 14. That's a lot of kids. Yeah. 10 is a lot. That's like uh, that's like Country Wayne. You, you, you like Country Wayne? I don't even know who that is. Oh, man. you got to check him out. I don't know who Country Wayne is, man. That's one of the baddest comedians in the game. Oh, yeah? For real. Well, I need to check him yeah, out, you got to check him out. He on Netflix. Oh, yeah? He talk about, he talk about having 10 kids. Yeah, I'll check him out, man. They say he paid like uh, 200000 in child support a year. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, he can pay it. You know what I'm saying? Right. <coughs> I don't have it. Or a month? Oh, yeah, a month. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, he got it. Yeah, 200 k a month. Oh, yeah, he got it there. He got to have it, man. Yeah. DJ, you go crazy.